The German snowboarding team are sorting out their official clothing ahead of the Olympics. It's a surprisingly difficult task. The team works slowly through a mountain of clothing. For each person, there are around 70 individual items. And mix and match is not an option here. There are strict rules governing what can be worn and when. Um, I have to be honest, I don't really know what's going on. I think this must be the normal clothing to wear in the village. Many of the snowboarders have lost the plot. You mixed everything up again. A representative from the Snowboarding Association lends a helping hand, distributing the printed flyers for the athletes to take away with them. Everything has to be done according to the rules. <laughs> Am I ever going to manage this alone? He should manage with the chart. He's a doctor after all. <laughs> Wearing the wrong clothing could lead to a fine. The team's sponsoring contract strictly lays out when an athlete has to wear what. There's a uniform for the opening ceremony and another for the official embassy reception and various outfits for traveling. Different sponsors are responsible for each area and there's no mixing and matching. These are all the things the team has to wear while traveling. So from the time they leave here until the time they arrive in Vancouver. They can't just decide to wear their favorite jeans and sweatshirt. That's part of the bargain, that the sponsor's clothes are worn at the agreed time. Everything is set down in a legally binding contract. Snowboarder Amelia Koba, one of Germany's big hopes for a medal, also has to stick to the rules. We ask her if she at least finds the clothes okay. Yeah, they're fine. Here she only gets clothing for official occasions. She has to bring her own stuff for wearing during the actual snowboarding events. Her gloves are from a firm in Oberammergau called Zina. The company is a global market leader when it comes to gloves for winter sports. Zina equips many Olympic athletes. For us, the Olympics is not so much about financial gain. It's more of a marketing measure, which we're very happy to have. Particularly as it allows them to promote their latest products. We have this glove with a dual system, for example. They're gloves with fingers, of course, but you can also convert them into mittens, so you don't freeze when you're on the chairlift. You just pull this cover over the fingers and immediately you have mittens instead. Zina sells over one million pairs of gloves a year. Business this winter has been especially good. The German athletes aren't the only ones to place orders. Other Olympic teams are also keen to have Zina gloves. Snowboarders and skiers alike. You can see that this is a very special glove for racing. The carbon inlays provide optimum protection for racing and padding if you hit the gates in slalom. Amelia Koba still has a few problems fitting in all the clothes from the team's sponsors. Her bag is already bursting at the seams, and she doesn't even have her personal things in there yet.